I'm here at ITU Telecom World 2012 in Dubai and I'm very pleased to be joined by Kapil Sibyl who is Minister for Human Resource Development and Communications and Information Technology for India. Kapil Sibyl, thank you very much thank for being you. with us today. Debates in ITU Telecom World 2012 have been focusing very much on the radical transformations of the ICT sector, both for the industry and the world in which we live. What for you is the principal opportunity arising from this transformation? Well, I think the opportunities are endless because the nature of the transformation is continuing. This is a sector which will continue to transform not just it, uh, itself, itself but our lives. Uh, and the transformation will take place through uh, multifarious technologies which are, we are not yet aware of. How that impacts our lives we are not yet aware of. So the transformation also in a sense is continuing. Uh, and the opportunities are endless. But at the end of it, all technologies are meant for what? For meant for actually benefiting ordinary people living ordinary lives. And the challenge and the opportunity is how do you use this technology and this medium to impact positively the lives of ordinary people? What do you perceive to be the main challenge or, or challenges being brought about by this incredible transformation? Well, the main challenge is how do you make a service accessible and affordable uh, because not everybody uh, in the global community has the um, buying capacity to buy an iPad, to buy a mobile phone at a very heavy cost or to get data uh, at relatively affordable prices which means your devices have to be affordable which means there should be enough economies of scale uh, so the manufacturing capacities should take advantage of the economies of scale and in small markets uh, with, uh, with, with uh, people do, who don't have buying capacity, how do you then provide cheap services to them? Not cheap services, but services cheaply. Uh, so these really are the challenges. And if you really look at the, uh, at the uh, at, uh, issues of education and health, and uh, many parts of the world, people who are aged, people who are not fully empowered, live in remote areas, how do you provide education for them? How do you provide health services for them? How do you bring public services to the platform? Uh, and how do people actually access public services without having to go through the trauma of waiting for days to do that? These are really the opportunities that we have. And the nature of the technology will really transform the lives of people in the years to come. And we're here at ITU Telecom World 2012. What, what, what are you hoping is going to be the outcome of, of this telecom? Uh, you've been to many telecoms before, I'm sure. What key message would you like to deliver here to our, our uniquely influential audience? Well, quite frankly, every uh, such telecom event is an opportunity for the business community uh, to forge alliances, uh, for people who are in the business to understand the potential of new technologies and then to be able to embrace those new technologies back at home. Uh, so I think that it's, it's an enormous opportunity for the business community. But having said that, I think the two things that I would like to talk about, and which, which is my personal vision, is number one, that uh, we should have free roaming. Um, and I'm not talking about international borders, but at least nationally, in large countries, we should have free roaming and hopefully uh, we'll be able to do that in India by during the course of 2013. And the second message I have for the industry is that you should make your money through data, not through voice. You see, uh, talking to each other should not be taxed. And therefore I believe that people should not have to pay for talking to each other. Uh, the right to communicate is fundamentally uh, a human right and people uh, uh, have, the, have the right to talk to each other to whatever medium and they should not be taxed for it or have to pay for it. So in times to come, the industry should move towards um, an architecture which allows talking to each other free of charge and makes, makes all its money on data uh, because that's what people uh, are willing to pay for. Uh, I, you know, I hesitate to think if I have to talk to you without a telephone that somebody in the government will say I'll charge you for it. Uh, of course, the service is provided through a network and therefore the cost of the network has to be paid. Uh, so this is not going to happen tomorrow or day after. But five, ten years down the road, this is where the industry should go. This is my message for the industry. Well, that's an excellent message. And thank you very much for being with us today. Thank you.